I was born in uh, Morgantown, West Virginia, a native West Virginian, and I got the bumper sticker. <laughs> when I was growing up, I was convinced that absolutely nothing was happening in, in the uh, small town that I grew up in, it was a coal town in the center of the state. I graduated from high school in 1964. The Vietnam War was just getting going. The Navy's offer to teach me how to fly airplanes looked pretty good. Well, I first rode in an airplane when I was six years old. And I remember I couldn't see out. Like, all I could see was the instrument panel. You know, the ground falling away, the look of the world from a thousand feet. The little airplane live in my hands, so I still get a bang out of all of that. It was an amazing experience, an experience of a lifetime. I thought it would make a great novel if somebody don't write it. And I actually flew the airplane during the day, and then at night I tried to write about what it was like. And so I wrote Nights and Weekends, which is the way all first novels get written. I guess I've published about 30, 31 books in the last 25 years. It still amazes me today to, when I think back of how it all went down. You gotta get out here and live a, an active life and actually dive into the pool of life and find out what life's all about. I don't have to think about how a cab driver would deal with a Tommy Carmelini jumped in the back of his cab. I know, I used to be a cab driver. I know how police officers deal with people. I used to be one. Lawyers, I've visited my clients in the bowels of the jail, listened to them tell me their tale of woe and how they got arrested. All these things all go together in uh, the fabric of your imagination. I'd rather be doing this than anything else I could think of. If I do a fourth career, I'll probably be driving a beer truck. I should take a six pack home every night.